This is a good one. I mean, the last one was good. That all no, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just some that we have like more, I suppose, like personal yeah. stories about. So, how do you talk dirty in a way that doesn't reinforce the patriarchy? Wait, what have I missed one? What about? Oh shit! Well, never mind. We will have to do this one. Now. Okay, let's just ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay, okay. How do you talk dirty in a way that doesn't reinforce the patriarchy? Okay. Okay. So some of it we've already covered in um, episode one, the second question. So please BDSM. do 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 look at, at that because basically the question was like, how do I, how um, how should I be a dominant person in a BDSM sexual relationship uh, without, uh, without, yeah, without 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 it seeming like I am um, just yeah, I guess reinforcing patriarchy. But again. I guess we talked more then about like the like consent and like the power of subs and not as much about like the language part, which is you quite... see I. I, English is my third language. I this is I, I don't do this that much. I must say. Which is your favorite language to talk dirty in? My mom, when she's angry with me, she talks in Russian. So I, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, Freud is cold right now. <laughs> No, no, but like uh, I, I don't know enough. Well, I can speak Russian, but and swear in Russian, but sadly not enough to uh, go for it because in I that had this sense. Interesting experience when I was in Vienna. I asked my Viennese housemates about dirty talking because, and they said they they do it in English because in German dirty talk is really like cringe. Fascinating. Yeah. So even though they're all like German speakers, instead of being like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> me harder like no that's just like terrible they were like we, we, we don't they, we do it in english that's so weird so we're like the universal well i guess what sex. yeah i guess a lot of porn is in english but and all of that stuff like a lot of porn i watch is like russian <laughs> great um the piece <laughs> plat i mean <laughs> right okay um, so, yeah, um to get back to the question yeah sorry um Right, how to talk dirty in a way that doesn't reinforce the patriarchy. This is... Now... This is my no, thing. honestly, I just... I don't know. Okay, well, I'll start and maybe you'll be able to maybe. think of what I'm saying. So I had this conversation with someone yesterday um, about... <laughs> about, like, how to... Yeah. And I was like, you know, you just say, like... The thing I'm trying to say is that there's a difference between calling a woman a bitch and calling a woman a bitch in bed. <laughs> and there's one thing being like, make me a sandwich, bitch, or move out of the way on the pavement, bitch. Another thing being like, get on your knees, bitch. I'm just saying. And it all comes down to basically the trust relationship you have with a person with whom you're engaging in dirty talk. Communication beforehand and consent. And like, is that person the type of person that hates women? I don't like the word bitch, personally. See, but I that's do. just yeah, me. Exactly. I mean, like, but that's the sort of conversation I would have with a partner, I guess. I literally yesterday said, I give you consent to say bitch in bed. Like... <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, but obviously we had that conversation. Ooh, before. slut though. Slut is fine yeah, with like, me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, all the mystique is gone. Those of you've just tuned in, this is Bitch Rowan and Slut Mariam talking for the NHS. <laughs> Doctors! Dr. Bitch. Dr. Bitch and Dr. Slut. Oh my god. Um, oh. Yeah. Our but parents are like, so look, proud right but now. But we have different things that we are okay with or into yes. or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so like dirty talk. One thing I would not do is leap into dirty talk on internet messaging unless it's like been already established that like, you're like sexting because like if i get a random tech like text on tinder from a dude being like you look like such a hot bitch i'm like no so the, okay so are you are you different well no it's just because i don't i don't do s okay i receive and i don't give because i'm worried it's gonna be screenshotted and this is really mm. bad but like it is what it is i'm a public person i would not <laughs> like yeah, i'm a nobody so i can like sex all i want <laughs> Yeah, so I kind of I kind of draw a line there, which is weird. Like, I mean, even if I just receive it, it's probably already weird. But um, yeah, I kind of I don't I don't go there. Okay, well. But now it's already even been recorded. <laughs> we're, we're live God, video. one day when I'm gonna pretend to be a real human being in the world, this is all gonna come back at me. So, but you know, like I don't know. I look at Alexandra yeah, exactly. there Ocasio Cortez, you know, and she's just keeping it 100 at, one, it, at yeah. all points. And it's just like, yeah, fucking, this what are you gonna do? This is new generation. What like, are, yeah, everyone drinks and smokes and fucks. It's like, yeah, it's fine. That's kind of the best parts of life, anyways. Yeah. 
So yeah, so that, uh, well, not smoking, maybe that's bad for you. <laughs> Drinking is great for you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah, there's a few different things. Dirty talking on Messenger, dirty talking in person, and dirty talking in a sexual situation. And I yeah, and like on Messenger, I'd be very fucking careful at the beginning because it can come across as like, like. And not in a good way like but once you're in the bedroom reinforcing the patriarchy only happens if you are reinforcing the patriarchy yeah like being a dom or being a sub doesn't inherently create a patriarchal situation 100 percent. and therefore using like language like language is fluid that's like a very cliche thing to say but like it's whatever you decide on that particular point yeah. that it's going to be. Yeah, and again, it's just sort of, I guess, if you can, just uh, definitely have a conversation beforehand with your partner as to what they're comfortable with, you know, because sometimes, you know, even even with the dumb stuff, I go like, you know, um, yeah, be dominating, but don't be rough, you know, because right, like, yeah. that's, too, that's too much or stuff like that. And, and um, yeah, and I think, again, as we've talked about, this in the in the episode one is just like we sometimes like giving away control and um being you know sort of so presentational at all times is fucking exhausting and um sometimes it's good to just sort of let it go um yeah. being told what to do when you want to be told what to do that's not patriarchal that's like taking a weight off my shoulders like yeah. please tell me which position to do because i can't be bothered to think about it <laughs> yeah and also it goes both ways like i mean um perhaps your partner is doing you know, like again, like that. You know, a, a woman could be very easily just very, very terrible to 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 her dude. You know, in these sort of conversations. You know, like so. So I don't think it's a. I don't think it's necessarily like a, a patriarchy feminism sort of thing. Well, I mean, I can see. I can see why you would arrive to that conclusion because. I mean, if the dude is a misogynist, then he's going to be a misogynist. Yeah, but. yeah, but basically, like, a, I mean, like, women can be rude in that exa- yeah. in that scenario as well. You know, so it's just really. If, if there is if 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 there is an opportunity to establish with your partner as to um, what sort of terms are not okay with them, then then that's that. Yeah, like just having that conversation in a pub can be quite like a fun pre conversation pre, to pre, have. Pre pre dirty talk at the end yeah. of things. Yeah, and also there's also like you might miss the mark and say something that's too far or wrong and if she says she's not okay with that fucking apologize yeah be like i'm sorry that was too far i should have checked you that that's okay and then you're not an asshole you're just someone that made a mistake like it's it's completely yeah fine. exactly like, yeah that you find to test something like to be like i really want to see you on your back bitch <laughs> and then she's like no and you're like okay i want to see you on your back please and y- it's like, yeah 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 and again like i say it's really got boils down to your um I suppose your disposition or like your the way that the way that you present yourself you know and if you are caring and if you're willing to 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 learn and all of that stuff like and if you're genuine being like look this is what I'm attempting to do I might slip but you know this could be eternal and let's see what happens then um then yeah there's a lot of space for that I was just thinking about what you were talking about on the first episode because in some relationships in a lot of relationships there's a difference between your dynamic in the bedroom which may be one of domination and submission where this kind of language is part of the play and one in like real life or whatever where it's like much more mutual and like discussions about feminism and politics blah blah, blah. but then there are also situations where people want to be dominated in an everyday sense which mm. yeah we still haven't received the question about that which is really no, upsetting but that's also a thing like if we're talking about dirty talk in like a non like bedroom scenario that is also again it's a matter of consent but that's also a different like another dimension i suppose right yeah yeah because you get like well, again we referred to it in episode one but you get relationships sometimes where the the man literally like orders everything mm. well i mean in a certain sense as to what the woman is meant to do what is she eating uh you know what uh, i don't know what exhibition she's going or not going to and stuff like that and yeah. and i mean one could say that's that's reestablishing patriarchy. Other could s- uh, the other person adults. could say, "Yeah, this is actually a really sexy yeah. thing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. And again, we're not caveating as much anymore because because like we've received quite a lot of feedback and with our last episodes that we maybe caveat a bit 
too much and basically you should just trust us and maybe watch the previous episodes that we are like hardcore good anarcho-feminists all of that stuff and we really are just trying to attempt to have a slightly more nuanced conversations around these topics and yet if we fuck up please be in touch yeah. with us and let us know yeah um, because we in, are in no way like condoning abusive behavior or yeah like, man like if you're a dick you're a dick and yeah. fucking gonna call you out on exactly, that exactly like, exactly like i have no qualms i'm like chopping off a rapist bull and eating them probably wouldn't eat them so that's the qualm. But that's <laughs> Give the it to qualm. the cat. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Have we answered the question? Well, well yes. I how mean, do you, again, how do you talk without reinforcing people. No, but this is interesting. Again, it was someone that is that is you know, um, I suppose, wishing to do such things, mm. and how we're wishing to be a good feminist at the same time, and and um, we're just trying to, I guess navigate that yeah. in a nuanced manner and I think I think we have you know we've given you I guess the so the the go to do that and yet I think as always it just needs uh, further uh, conversations w- with your partner and as ho- how far yeah. they want to be made like our little bitch and sl- things like are actually pretty vanilla yeah as to the sort of stuff people actually get on with like get up to sorry and and so you know there there's way more yeah. than stuff out there and, and again you know okay Hey, as long yeah. as it's between two consenting adults yeah. who, you know, yeah, if you want to be cool, I can't even think. I'm so unimaginative. No, well, like, we don't need to describe okay. those really, yeah. like, those really in- intense things, I think. But, um, yeah, basically, um, perhaps you think we didn't even touch on, like, the more hardcore um, ways dirty talking could be happening. But, um but yeah, again, that's up to up to you and whoever you are with. And again, perhaps the question could be like, how do I even open a conversation about the fact that I do want to do dirty talking? Well, I guess yeah. you literally go like, hi, I was wondering, how could I open such a conversation? Yeah. <laughs> well, just like, I, hey, are you, are you into like conversation in bed? Because I'm just aren't into talking at all and be like, okay, would you be into like this or this or this? Like, yeah, that's how I did it. Yeah. Um, I oh fuck! I just had another thought that's relevant to this, and I've forgotten it. You no, know, you can think about it. I was just like, yeah. just um, even even just in general sounds. I remember one time someone just like turned on the music while we were at it as such, and and I thought, wait, wait but why do you need music? Surely silence is better, you know, and like in general. And actually, down the line was fine, etc. But um. But yeah, it's basically, it's not even just words, it could be just sounds or lighting, different things that different people like in different ways. And um, yeah, interesting space. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what I was going to say. Well, maybe you'll remember. Maybe I'll remember it and blot it out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. um, Um, Okay, shall we next one? Yes, yes, I'm just going to check on the things a little bit again, but um, I guess... I'll do my thing. Yeah. If, if you're just, just tuning yeah, in, exactly. yeah, I remember the moment. <laughs> Hello and welcome if you're just tuning in to NHS for Lefties with Rowan and Marianne. I'm Rowan, this is Marianne. Marianne Dr. Rowan, Dr. Rowan. Dr. Marianne. And Dr. Marianne. <laughs> We're here to service your needs. No, it sounded weird. Um, 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 changing the subject. Um, we're actually thinking of rebranding as Anarcho Agony Aunts because someone said that and actually it's very cool. Um, so if you think we would be better off as Anarcho Agony Aunts because NHS for lefties have been confusing some people. For example, I said to someone yesterday that I had the NHS this evening and she was like, oh no, I hope you're okay. And I was like, ah, right, God, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> not what I meant. Um, so, yeah. Thoughts on rebranding? Let us know. Is Seven people watching. Come oh, on, shit, guys, honestly. Four, five, four. I can't like four that. or so. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it was all too dirty. Maybe people are like, I don't know. Oh hi, mum. So, <laughs> so that's our excuse, anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not the content. <laughs> well, it is the content. But. No, but again, like some people watch it, you know, um, during while it's streaming, and then a lot of people watch it uh, afterwards, which is nice. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, okay, this is the this one. one, right? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. No. Wait, mm-hmm. wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, okay, yes, so yes, I got yes. them in the wrong order. So it says, maybe a silly question for the NHS for Lefties show, but I've got to ask somewhere. I'm a queer guy who has mostly dated men and mostly slept with women, but in recent years I've also developed an interest in women. I've not, for lack of a better word, been socialised in straight de- dating, hookups, etc. Though I would like to get more sexual and maybe romantic experience with women, but I'm usually too nervous or unsure how to go about it to make a move. I am hindered by one lack of lack of experience for how straight flirting works. 
Two, fear of being a dickhead like so many het men are. And three, sexual nerves because it's more unfamiliar territory compared to guys. Do you have any advice? Thanks in advance. Do you, are you okay with covering one and two and then we cover three together? Mm-hmm. No, I'm just thinking because to me it's, it's a similar question to the first mm-hmm. one really. I mean, obviously there's the added um, layer of, 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 of someone transitioning, well not transitioning, I don't know, just like including women in, in their sexual lives as well or romantic lives um, from just the dudes. But in general, I don't know, this seems to be just another sort of like how to flirt with people. Yeah, question. I mean, I guess, I mean, I can relate in as much as I found dating women harder than I did dating men because I think like even though we're all like feminist blah 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 subconsciously there is an expectation that comes with gender roles that I think a lot of us buy into I certainly buy into wherein I know how to talk to a man without seeming this this or this more than I do with a woman because even as a woman I'm still like how do I be forward how do I this because I'm so aware that she might have all this baggage of all the bad things And so I completely relate to that, actually. Like, having someone who only recently started, like, hitting on women, it's, like, fucking terrifying. Yeah, like, I'm much more comfortable hitting on men. And it's, like... Yeah, wow, that's so weird. But then... Yeah. That's so interesting. This is this is why it's great that, again, that it's that I'm doing this with you. Because, yeah, you do give this, like, incredible, like, queer perspective, etc. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Continue. I just wanted to put it out there. No, that, that's Happy really to be good. queer. <laughs> no, no, no. But, you know, like... Yeah, I think that that's such a valid point. Um, so, okay, lack of experience about how straight flirting works. I mean, I think we covered that maybe in the first question and also yes. in um, a question in the episode one. The last question um, of episode one. Oh, the no. The first question of episode one. And the first question. one of the questions in episode and two. And the last episode of, sorry, the last <laughs> question of episode two yeah. as well. Um, yeah, we've talked quite a we're lot. We're also, by the way, just to say, after the season is done, we're going to cut up the, 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 quest- well, yeah, the videos, videos into, into shorter thingies. As- yeah, one video per question kind of thing, so they're more bite-sized. <laughs> um, fear of being a dickhead like so many het men are. I mean, yeah, be scared because it's a thing, but also I think our question about how not to be a creep hopefully answers that. Yeah, yeah, it's all really just about you being aware that you might be and then explaining that and not being that. Really. Yeah. <laughs> But if we haven't, um, if you need more, then please send us a, another question. Like, yeah, we'll cover it. And then number three, sexual nerves because it's more unfamiliar territory compared to guys. Interesting that this is the part you. Well, oh. man. Okay, now let's talk about nipples. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just. Oh, nice. you mean like actual? Well, yes. Because oh, what that's else? Me. Okay. No, I'm just thinking yeah, like, okay. all right, let's, let's do nipples. this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tip number one: don't do that. <laughs> we're off the rails today I love it yeah. this is great yeah, this is great staring at your sorry. tits while we're live on a no, so this should not I'm like it shouldn't be visible and then I visibly remove it <laughs> this should not be here <laughs> no I don't know I'm so wary of my own video and okay, stuff okay let's talk about nipples well no okay so let's talk about sex baby let's talk about You and me? Yes. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're, we're, we're only oh, housemates. We're not, yeah. not got there yet. No, I don't think we will. All right. <laughs> All right. It doesn't seem like a thing. Like, remember when we almost had a foursome, but it never really happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened. That's oh, good my thing. God. We might not be able to do the NHS Jesus if we had Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. That was back in the day, hey? What, 2014? Yeah, no, but in general, I'm just thinking, I am so revealing too much here, but what oh, can you do, what can you, you do? I, that means I definitely am, I think I'm being more explicit than you. No, but you know, like, I'm attempting to, pre- well, I know, I'm pretending to be a real human being, and, you know, there are, like, literal potential employers watching, probably potential, I don't know, like, actual academics, Woman lectures, all of that like, stuff. Like, shocker, like, but yeah, right? Daily Mail, like... Yeah, I don't know. I definitely have. To, I'm sorry. This is totally tangent. But again, you just have to sort of, I guess, see deal. us deal, <laughs> uh, deal. Yeah, it's just like I. I think this is really important, and I think it's a very political project. Always in my head, I'm battling over the fact that yeah, I guess I'm just like a little working class hustler trying to make it in in this whatever you know games industry content creator sort of thing, and yet I'm pushing buttons and making myself unemployable more and more all the time because yeah that's definitely not helpful you're meant to be like you know again probably as a woman as well like you know a bit mysterious and a bit just like 
you know, reserved or or just I don't know, just you without like, opinions, etc. And I'm just like out there. You're and not gonna go to your job interview and be like, "Hi, I'm Marianne. Let's talk about BDSM." Like, <laughs> well, I mean, no, no, <laughs> no, sure, but um, I don't know. I just I'm I'm wary that. Yeah, um, it's a thing. It's a bullshit it's, thing. But it's yeah, thing. yeah, 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 yeah. But um, going back to the question, right? Okay. So you want to talk about nipples? I'm I'm, I'm all ears. No, I think we covered the nipples. You know what to do with them. It's good. But okay, so I mean, things yeah, like men have nipples too. So okay, so yeah, I'm actually yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, so things that like I don't know, somewhat turn one on in mm. that sort Very of sense. Very subjective. Very subjective. Stroking of the back. Oh my god, back especially of the like back, especially like that bit. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my days. That's a thing. That's a thing That's for a sure. Thing. Then definitely, like as bad as it sounds, definitely like Google a few things as to what works on the bits, and then um, there it's also super super subjective. But, like like genital stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. I but mean, you know, but this is interesting. Someone's literally like, okay, for the first time, I have to like learn how to please this. So how do we do this? I mean, one thing I would say as like a general tip, like when in doubt, have lube available, because not all women have the same kind of bodies. Not all women get wet the same way. Like, it doesn't mean they're not into you, but just, like, have lube around, doesn't yeah, hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's, like, the whole, like, front bit, but back bit, too. But then back bit doesn't make sense, because it's not part of the clitoris, but But I feel still. like if you slept with men... Love London anti-fascist, then we're talking about clitoris, well, hey. Yeah, but, like, if you, if you slept with men, he probably knows how to do the ass, right? So, but, but yeah, but basically, but, no, but, but, well, I don't know, people, people with a vagina and such, they don't have, um... Prostate. Prostate. Yeah, so don't expect necessarily to get an orgasm out of anal, but it doesn't mean she doesn't enjoy it. But ask before you do anal, general general point. Well, yeah, no, no, of course, but I'm just thinking, like, there's that bit at the back, and no one really... What bit are you talking about? Okay, okay, subjective then. Perineum? The so... perineum? What bit? <laughs> <laughs> so those who just tuned in... <laughs> You mean, you, you're talking about someone's ass or you're talking about the, the No, back? the back the bit of the... Back. No. Do you want to, like, point it on me? <laughs> <laughs> the back bit of the of the vagina. Yeah, the perineum. Oh, is that mm, it? Very sensitive. <coughs> Great. Mm. Good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Where do we go from that? Um, yeah. <laughs> but, like... It, it's Season right. finale. What can you do, you like, know? I can't go like, my thing <laughs> I have this like need to like gesticulate when I'm doing things. I'm like, I'm no, not same. Like, fingering someone, but like, try things out gently, and you can normally hear whether or not she's into it. Like, if you're like, if you're like starting on the clip and moving down, and if you get the perineum and you get like a twitch or like a vocal like mm-hmm, response, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. But, but like, but a clip is bigger than you think. Da da da, all of that stuff. Everyone but when knows, it probably. gets bigger, like you might yeah, yeah, be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what, what, what? But then by the end, you're like, oh, there it is. Neck as well, very sensitive mm. area. Um, How are you with ears? If it's not very wet, mm. yeah. Bum is great. I mean, just the cheeks. Yeah. Feet. Are you? A, I was gonna ask about feet. I'm not a feet person. But I'm always so insecure that my feet smell that if anyone ever goes near my feet, I'm like, don't, because I'm so sure my feet smell. Like even though I like it, it's just like it's a huge paranoia, and I can't be comfortable with it. Also, something to be said about like just not kiss. Okay, we should probably terminate this question honestly because now this is Why? just this becoming is like <laughs> no. But this is this is not necessarily just for women as well. I was gonna say like something to be said about just like not kissing and like like not allowing to kiss. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean so, I don't really I don't really want to kiss. But this is not sex. necessarily. This is basically not necessarily just like for 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 ladies or not this is i think quite universal yeah, that's in general. A general thing so yeah but, but no, I, don't I don't like kissing during sex because i can't concentrate <laughs> but, but, uh, subject cir- circumstantial anyways yeah yeah okay good stuff brilliant this is where my like my prude side comes out yeah right i'm, I'm su- i mean no it's fine i'm not shaming you like it's no fine. no it's just i'm like <sighs> acting out to finger someone <laughs> 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 I love you. <laughs> God, but again, season finale, what can you do? This is us, you know. And also, like, um, like obviously an obvious point, but like every woman takes like different amounts of time. 
to come yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And also a lot of women don't come, don't come for penetrative sex or don't come at all or like, but also after- After boozing as after well. After boozing, oh my God, such it's a long thing. It's a drag. long thing, yeah. yeah. It's the worst, you're like, you're doing everything right and I'm just like here, like a like yeah, yeah, yeah. boat on an ice lake. It's terrible, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> fantastic. Okay, right. Have we answered that question? No, okay, so basically, I think we have, sadly, so annoyingly because like we just have to move on. Um, we have answered this question, th your question, in like either other questions or other episodes we as well. We're okay with time though, we've only been 40 minutes. We only have, don't know um, if we left yet. And with we're other episodes left. as well, so please. And we're gonna cut them up into shorter episodes if you don't, if you, into shorter segments if you don't have the time to do it now. Um, so hopefully that will answer it there. Um, and then yeah, I don't know. Like you'd be surprised just how little people know and understand women's bodies. Like yeah, it's okay not to know and to ask and to try things, but yeah, try yeah, yeah. Gently, but not, basically, not if you do know, then you're like you're up there. You're up there. If you know what you're doing, like you're up there and like she's gonna come back. So um, it's gonna yeah. be good. Take time. Because sometimes it takes time. And same both ways, you know, we yeah. totally understand that it's like Yeah, like some guys take ages to come and that's okay too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, you know, we're like, ooh, you know, we need dudes that are really, really good at this or whatnot, like <laughs> we've been terrible at it as well, probably, you know. Well <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> no, I, was, I was actually thinking, I was like, have I been terrible at it? I mean, I actually think I'm getting worse at blowjobs. <laughs> okay, sorry. Maybe this is like, when I was a teenage boy, everything was easier. Like, right, um, okay. Um, okay, I next mean, question. Okay, no, I'm, and I, I wish I could bounce back like I do, because I think about it as well. And something, yet, yeah, like, I'm still ashamed, as well, especially as a woman and that, like, I, so many Reddit threads have been created on me in the past couple of months, you know, like this can just so end up there and then it will just be, I will be that guy and it's terrifying and I shouldn't feel this way because we should be open about this. And, and yet, yeah, I have this fear and it sucks. I'm so unimportant, I can talk about how I'm bad at oh, Shut jobs. up, like, that's not it, that's <laughs> no, not no, it. No, it's true, no, it's true, obviously you have to be careful. Like, well, I'm not careful. You're more careful than me, which is fine. Like, anyways, yeah, I'm j we're just hoping this is off, 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 off use. 